What's up guys, I'm here today at Ultimate Athletics with another epic grappler. One of the guys that was actually on the Emerald City 1 card. We got Tomas in the building. Tomas is going to show us some stuff that he uses in law enforcement that is jujitsu oriented. So take it away my man. Okay, so I'm going to show a technique that I've used uh, the majority of the times I ever had to go hands out with someone. I did rest for four years in high school and a year in college. So this move is very comfortable uh, to me and if you can get the reps in, maybe it'll work for you uh, on the mats or on the road, okay? So uh, we're gonna go, uh, so the technique is gonna be based on his back to you. I have experienced a lot of people, they like to become pork chops when it becomes, uh, you're about to put them in cuffs and, and, and they're you know, thinking, you know, I don't wanna go to either jail or I just don't want to be put in handcuffs. So this is, uh, sometimes they get a uh, froggy here in this situation. So as soon as I, you know, start grabbing the hands or something and, and they're sniffing it up or something like that, I'm automatically going to go uh, to lock up their hips here, okay? Here we're controlling uh, their center of balance here and I have my head tight to his chin and I'm locking across, or my, uh, my uh, cheek here tight to his back. So here uh, I'm going to grab a gable grip across his body here and what I'm going to do in wrestling they teach you the knee tap. You know you could use the knee tap. I generally don't. If I can pinch my elbow down that works just as fine okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to lower our center of uh, balance here and we're going to pick him up and we're going to pinch that elbow down okay. And, that, and here this is uh, where they land a lot. And what we want to imagine here in this situation is if there's a line coming out straight right or left of his hips. So we do never want to be above that line. We want to either be equal with it or behind it. And I'll be giving an example of why you want to be above that hip line. So if I'm up here, he can just buck me off his body here. And that's where we don't want to be, okay? So he's gonna have a harder, harder time doing that if I'm equal to his hip or behind his hip line here, okay? So now here we can start breaking him down uh, to get him flat because that's where we want him uh, at this point. So I'm going to control his hip with my hand here and we're going to try to get him flat down. And a lot of times we're actually going to work as if when I get him down flat he's going to have his hands underneath him because he still doesn't want me to put him in cuffs, okay? So we're here flattening him down here. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to put my hand, my outside hand into here. We're going to find our way into it, burrow our hand into the side of his body here. So can I have you go this way here? So he's got a tight here. We're gonna use this hand, this outside hand, furthest away from him, and we're gonna find his wrist here, okay? Even if he has it wicked tight here, we're still gonna be able to, if we, you know, burrow our hand to catch that wrist, okay? So you can put two hands on it, one works just fine, but we'll work the two hand here. So we got, we got his wrist right now, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop that far shoulder into his, uh, his back right here, okay? So we're gonna come and we're gonna switch our hips as well, drive it into him, and we're gonna rip it out right here, okay? As we bring it to his lower back, okay? Here you can use your, your knee if you want to, to pin it up against his arm, but here I would say every time I've ever used it, it's worked, and that's the wrist lock from this position, because he's still not gonna give you this, uh, his other arm because he's going to be resistant to the to the very end until you can get the, him in handcuffs if that's the road he chose. So what I'm going to do here is just put two hands on his uh, his hand right here and uh, just the normal wrist lock and give him commands at the same time. Give, give me your other hand. Give me your other hand. And that's when we take the cuffs out and we uh, put him in handcuffs. So it's worked on people that were drunk, people maybe going through a mental health crisis people bigger, stronger than me, um, being able to use that wrist lock and it, it works. It's worked for me. I could say 100% of the time I've ever had to use it. So I definitely uh, enjoy using that move as far as because it, it, it's very effective. Yeah. So No, that's awesome. Thank you very much Thank for showing you. that, Tomas. Appreciate it. And make sure you guys follow uh, Ultimate Athletics. They got a lot of cop stuff going on in here and they have an amazing wrestling program. And make sure you follow Tomas as well. Thanks. Cool.
Thanks. I was, like, I was like, don't move, don't move. And then he's like, why'd you tase me? I'm like, dude, I told you, man. <laughs> I said, yeah, I, I said, yeah, I said, well, I told him twice I was going to tase her, oh, but I told shit. him out in the parking lot, just stop, stop. You know what I mean? You ain't going to get away. And so, me? Yeah. Like, Motherfucker, the audacity on this Yeah. And he just, he started like saying like, I'll work with you. I know, you know, drug, you know, dealers, I'll give you names and stuff like that. I'm like, just shut up for a second. And I told, I told him, I was like, dude, just shut up for a second. I need to calm down. So I'm like trying to like bring myself yeah. down and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And then uh, this other uh, a trooper showed up and helped me out, put him in cuffs and everything like that. And uh, yeah, I uh, I smashed up my 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 uh, my palm.